Josiah, thanks for being here. Thanks for taking Absolutely. the time to talk to us. Yes. Okay, so I would imagine being your age, how old are you? 21. 21, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You get the pleasure of getting to sing to a lot of Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. So all over my social media, I feel like I've been seeing that Gen Z just has this hunger for a relationship mm. with Jesus. Yeah, Have absolutely. you been seeing that at oh, your absolutely. concerts? absolutely. Yeah, in November we're, we're touring um, just a couple colleges and stuff. I think that's Very like cool. our heart, my heart is for it. And, um, you know, we preach the word at our concerts, and I just see that their, their, their hunger is for not just cool music or music, mm -hmm. it's just actually the word of God and, like, actually having a relationship with Jesus. And so it's very, we you know, just seeing people step out of their comfort zones mm -hmm. and, you know, just like raise their hand saying today I want to follow Jesus I want to leave all those things behind in front of everybody we don't ask them to bow their heads or nothing because we just want you know radic people to be like radically about it and so yeah I mean they are hungry and we were on Alabama's campus and man everybody was from the college and and we've got I got so many messages like Tuscaloosa like we're hungry for Jesus this college is hungry for Jesus so yeah that yeah, is sure. so cool. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to you to have a song like The Prodigal that's resonating so well with that generation? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a huge blessing. I didn't, when I wrote it, I didn't think that would be, I just, my, that was my heart message for this, even this whole album and probably songs to come is like, um, not necessarily, like just that this world, you know, the, the thought process that this world is just very temporary, but eternity is forever, right? And so yeah. just to not be living for these 80 years we're on earth, if you're lucky, but the eternity and um, I don't know, having a song like that just to put that in perspective, not just for everybody else, but for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a huge blessing. Yes. So. Speaking of that for yourself, I mm. can imagine with the busyness, you dropped an album this oh, year, see, all yeah. the things. So how do you ground yourself to not chase after those things that you talk about in The Prodigal? Yeah, these people right here, my <laughs> wife right there, and they definitely, my parents and stuff, they ground me. Um, and then one thing I've like learned also with traveling a lot is just I'm a human. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's a... Uh, even right now, I'm getting over getting a little sick and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just think that. But I think all those things, all of our flaws, all those things that remind us we're human, they make us depend on God more. Mm -hmm. And so every day I'm like, man, I'm tired. But that's why I got Jesus. You know, I got to depend on him. We got to depend on him. We couldn't do this without him. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm super thankful for the song. I'm thankful. My I have three little kids at mm -hmm. home. Oh, and we turn on anything on the radio, whatever it is, and your songs pop up. Oh, so. Man. Thank you for having that heart. It makes me excited for future generations, for my kids to have mm. people like you in this industry who are pouring in and recognizing that that love for Jesus is there. Um, so we appreciate Shoot. you a ton. Thank you. And we appreciate the time <laughs> Thank you. so much. And Absolutely. hope this tour goes great. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.